Hello friends, my name is Vinny Tarra. I am Azure Solution Architect and you are learning Azure with me. As I promised in my last video that we will learn Azure by creating a sample project. Okay, and we will create all these resources. But before starting, let me update you that we need a Azure subscription. Okay, and uh, to get that Azure subscription, what we need to do? We need to register to a uh, Microsoft website. Okay, we will have to go to a particular link that is portal.azure.com and there we will have to give our credit card. By providing the credit card, Microsoft provides us a free 30 day trial period with the help of which we can play. Okay, but what about that situation if we have consumed our 30 days? Okay, or we don't have credit card. What we need to do? We need to learn Micro uh, Azure but without credit card. Okay. So uh, what we will do for that perspective, we need a sandbox. Okay, Microsoft provide a sandbox to us with the help of which we can learn and we can create our resources. But there are some limitations with respect to that and we will talk about that. So let's learn how to get that sandbox without giving any credit card. Okay, so what we need to do uh, we need to go on this link. This is the link. I will provide this link to my uh, to this description. Okay. So once you will land on this page, uh, you will get a button here. Sign in to activate Sandbox. Okay. Okay. Before clicking on this, let me uh, go to my Azure portal. I will go to portal.azure.com. Okay. You will have to log in here. Once logged in, you will have to click here. Okay, directories plus subdirectories on this icon. Here you will get all your uh, subscriptions. Okay, uh, as of now I have four subscription and these subscription are no more use for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sandbox. Okay, you can see there is no subscription with respect to sandbox. So now I am here, I'm clicking on sign in to activate sandbox. Once I will click here, I will have to log in here. Okay. After logged in, it will process. Okay. It is now okay done now what it is stating it is stating to click on this button to review permissions I will click on this button fine what I will do now I will click on this button to accept the permissions Just wait. Okay. It appears that it is creating a sandbox for us. Okay. It is creating resource group and assigning roles. Okay. It is also creating a storage account for us. Okay, this is just going to complete. Done. Okay, now what it is stating? It is stating that sandbox activated. Time remaining 3 hours 59 minutes. So basically, Microsoft has provided a sandbox to us and that is active only for 4 hours. So we can play with, uh, with this subscription up to 4 hours and after 4 hours we will have to activate it again. Okay, but whatever we want to learn, we can learn definitely within four hours. So we don't need any credit card. So what we need to do, we will go back to our Azure portal and we will click here. Okay, let me refresh my page. Fine. Now you can see that there is a new more subscription which is coming as Microsoft Learn Sandbox. What I need to do, I need to click here, switch.
okay now uh, this is my current subscription uh, let me go to home now fine let's see what we can do with this okay uh, let me click on subscription here yes I have this subscription subscription name which has been provided by Microsoft to me as sandbox okay now what I will do I will click on resource groups you can see that this is the name of the resource group that Microsoft has already provided to us as I updated earlier that there are some limitation that limitation is that that we cannot create our own resource group okay this resource group has been provided by Microsoft to us so we will have to work in this resource group once I will click here I will get a storage account here so this storage account has been created by Microsoft to us already but yes whatever we need to do with some limitations we can do for example uh, let's say uh, we were talking about platform as services okay this was our solution that we were saying okay we need to go through this so let's say we need to create an app service fine so for that app service what we need we need an app service plan okay for creating app service we need an app service plan so let's try to create an app service plan first fine uh, okay I will click here I will search for app service plan I will click here now I will click on create app service plan fine okay now uh, let me choose the resource group I cannot create my resource group I will have to choose this now what is the app service plan details okay I will have to provide the app service plan name so let's use the short name ASP app service plan okay uh, project name let's say we are talking about learn and uh, let's say uh, about East US this is my location and uh, this is for development perspective okay fine uh, reason is East US pricing plan let's go ahead with the basic plan let's see what will happen okay L uh, let me click on the view plus create is validating fine this is saying that the template deployment failed because of policy violation as I updated that there are some limitations the limitation is that that we cannot use this plan okay we will have to use a uh, shared plan okay or fee plan let me click here on Windows okay once I will click on Windows I will get a shared app so I will choose this plan shared D1 fine okay now what I will do after choosing this I will click on review plus create great this is now asking us to create so let me create let me click on this button that is create okay now it is starting the deployment let's wait for some time Here we get all the notifications. Okay. Now oh, my page has been automatically redirected. It is stating deployment is in progress. Fine. My application is ready. Let me click on go to resources. okay now this is my app service plan now in this app service plan I need to create app services so if you will see here there are two app services app service 1 and app service 2 the name was app 1 demo dev uh, although I have given a different name here the name I have uh, okay this is my app service plan name okay what I will do I will create an app service with this name fine okay now let me click on home I will search for app services fine now what I will do I will click on create and web app okay now uh, I'll click on resource group application name what is the application name I stated that we uh, let's try to use this name app one demo dev okay so app one demo dev 
great this name is available now code runtime stack .NET 6 operating system windows let reason name east us no problem okay we have uh, already created app service plan so that's why this is coming automatically to us asp learn eud fine great now uh, there are different apps let's not worry about that as of now let's click on review plus create directly okay great click on create now Now what it is doing, it is creating a web app, uh, app service and that app service is an app service plan, right? And I stated here that this will be our URL, api one demo dev dot azure websites dot net. Okay. Let it deploy. Okay, uh, we have one more service that is API2 demo dev dot azure website dot net. Okay, uh, let's click here. This app one demo dev is ready. Let me click on browse. Great, this is running. Right, now let me create one more app service. Okay, so now we have created another web service that is uh, app to demo dev. Let me pause this. This is also working. Fine, your web app is running. Okay, now with respect to this, we have learned that how to create an app service, app service one and app service two without uh, providing any credit card. Fine and we are doing this in our sandbox but there are some limitations as i stated that we will we have a limitation to choose a specific app service plan okay and we will also have other sub, uh, limitations once we will move ahead but yes if uh, you want to proceed i will suggest you to go through first with credit card okay free, free 30 days prior, trial period if you have consumed your 30 days prior, uh, trial period and you want to further learn and you don't have any choice okay then you can go through with this with this link okay fine we are done so what we are going to learn in our next session we are going to learn in our next session terraform okay so whatever the resources that we have created as of now from the portal we will do it from terraform why terraform because you know that uh, whatever we are doing here we are doing we are creating the resources with uh, with a sandbox of four hour limitation four hour right so but when we will use our sandbox we will not uh, we, when we will use our terraform then we will not have to worry okay, every time everything will be in our code so terraform is an infrastructure as a code okay so whatever we are doing right we are going to the portal and we are clicking here okay let's say let's choose this app service we all will configure this will be configured in our Terraform. Okay, so let's learn Terraform in our next session. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.